missing a burp. <laughs> Yo, they like, they're not coming off. You gotta, you gotta stand up now. Let me say Oh. <laughs> 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 hey, you gotta put on the, the jacket. <laughs> <laughs> He's insane, dude. <laughs> Give him the glasses, too, Dan. <laughs> <laughs> oh, killer. Hold <laughs> on, right, right, right. you need to get the flick for the Instagram. <laughs> Go ahead. Let's see the walk. Let's see the walk. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, uh. I'm gonna have to get your help taking them off, man. <laughs> Those things are suction cups. Let's get the jacket for this. Right, you're gonna need to lay flat. You're gonna need to lay flat in this whole area. Man, why do you guys just rip these things off of the door? I got one. One more, one more. There is a That's our version of Drewski. <laughs> yeah. Thanks here for holding your shoes. Talked about it in another video. Dang, you drop me, you drop me in a, a shoe every month starting in September, right? Yep. Like the camera real fast? Yeah. With you? Oh, with these? You want these, don't you? You gotta have a little fun in them. I can't do So, one shoe a month starting in September. This is gonna be the Father's Day drop, right? So yeah, yeah, so this one probably won't come out for another 10 months, but this is the silhouette. It's called the Cutback. This is our first silhouette from Dank & Co. And yeah, so we're, we're hoping for our first release to be in September. And I think we're gonna put on for the city, it's gonna be like a Spurs related colorway. And, um, it's gonna be called the Fast Breaking Fiesta. You can leak the Fiesta. Yeah. We're gonna, leak, we're gonna leak the rendering. So here's the rendering. Hardwood <laughs> floor. We got the parquet, like the hardwood floor. We got some 3M hits here and here. And we'll have three different types of suede and like an expanded mesh. And then also on the side here, it'll be like the black, like. Jordan 4 netting will be on the side. Yeah. Tell them what's the history behind the Fast Break Fiesta? Yeah, so obviously we, we're doing a Spurs colorway, but we can't, you know, we're not doing it in partnership with the Spurs, so we can't use any of their logos or anything. But back in, in like 89, 90, 91, they did a thing called the Fast Break and Fiesta. It was like a promotion that they did and they had cups. And ever since I started doing customs, I've been washing my brushes out in a cup from that promotion. So, sitting on my desk, you can look at videos dating back to when I started doing customs. You'll see that cup on my desk that I washed my brushes out on. That's dope. And that's just our version of the logo from that. Dope. Looking forward to it. We got Danga T, show the new team. We just finally dropped our CDSA Love You team. They in stock on our website, Fall Supplies Last. Shout out Dan for pulling up. He's doing like a little survey, getting feedback from other customers. What is more or less the survey you're doing? Yeah, it's just kind of we're getting the age, getting you know male, female. We're also asking their size, what kind of retail they would think a shoe like this would like. It's basically like New Balance quality. And then, uh, if you're asking me how yeah. much retail should be, something like this. Retail. Remember, from a startup, not a big company. I said 175. It's gonna be tough to get that. Think so? Yeah. What were you thinking? I want to keep it under 250, but it's gonna be tough to do that. Tough to do it at 175. Very tough to do it at 175. Like as far tough as to profit do it for you or no retail at 250. So you think you're gonna have to start lower? No, it's gonna be hard to get it that low. 
to yeah. get source the shoe that way. Oh, yeah, that's what I meant. Like, your profit yeah. margin is going to be Yeah, like, pro profit's going to be next to nothing. Yeah. Just to push your brand initially, right? Well, yeah, because, I mean, if basically the numbers are going to be low, so I'm going to have to pay high. Yeah. You know, starting out. But if it blows up, then the profits will be there at that retail. Yeah. You know? Because um, then we can afford to make more, which will cost us less. But to start out, we're going to be releasing them as pre sale. And in order for them to even just pay for themselves, we're going to have to price them a lot. Yeah, that makes sense. But we don't want it to get near 300. Yeah. We would like it to stay well under 250. <clears throat> I think, what, what is Jordan Brand's most expensive shoe out there at retail price? 225? 225, isn't it for 11s right now? So. 25. Yeah. Or you think, like, I'm not wearing them right now, but the, the shoes that I wore was like a 225 retail. You know? It's considered a designer, right? It's considered a designer. But, you know, New Balance has. I'm going to go like 225, 250 for like a general release. Yeah. yeah. New Balance overall has higher retail because it's made in America and also because they use premium materials. That, that made in America part is big too. It is. Know? Yeah, for sure. Like, and for us to, to do that, like, you know, through, yeah. you know, but, you know, we're, working with, uh, we're working with two different factories in China, one possibly in uh, Portugal. If you haven't peeped the video we did with Dank, make sure you go. I'm going to try to link the description right here if you want to watch this after. But um, yeah, this shoe, I've tried it on before. It's really comfortable. Matter of fact, I'll try it on right now. Yeah. Let's get an honest review. Honest review. So right off the bat, reminds me of the Wave Runner. I told Dave this before. Reminds me of the Wave Runner. It's like a dad shoe. You know what I mean? Yeah. It has like a arch. I could definitely wear these on the daily. Go to the mall, just kicking it. So where are these Disney World? I'm going to Disney World next week, so. They're comfortable. They're comfortable. I'm going to get a pair soon. I'm excited to see what colors you drop. And that's also part of why we're here, too, is like, we have all these stories to tell through through shoes, you know? So we have a lot of different colorways that are coming out. I don't want to obviously say them right now what they are, but like, just imagine all the stories that you can tell with that, you know? But very few people can say they built their own shoes. Yeah, but but the the big question also is, pandas didn't have a story. Look how they said it. It's just a black and white shoe. So do I need to always tell stories, or should I just come out with some dope colors too? You know, like this is like as a as we're starting this out. Like these are the questions that are unanswered for me. You know, and like where where do that's why we have on the survey here like what's important to you, just the colorway or the story that the well, when, tells. When sneakers drops collapse, I know they put the story right behind the design, you know, certain little have. things. Yeah, if they have I find more appreciation in my opinion in those Horrible. types of sneakers. You Same. know what I mean? Um, R.I.P. to who was the homeboy that just passed away? Spanto. Yeah, so with his story, you know, it sucks to say, but when somebody passes like that, their shoes skyrocket. But even before that happened, that was a dope story behind a dope shoe, the design, the details. Similar to what you're doing, you can kind of give context behind your design. That's sick, yeah. you know? As a creator, I think that's sick. Yeah. When it comes to like, um, sneaker culture and stuff like that stories are definitely a big part because I, I go for the story too yeah. but when it comes to you know how you said with the panda the general consumer doesn't really care to be honest yeah. it matters what's trending and your brand identity yeah. behind it so once you get your brand name established then yeah people are just gonna buy it because it's you it's yeah. your brand you know it's just like Supreme they sell a freaking box logo tee for yeah. you know $60 but in reality, it just says Supreme on it, but everybody yeah. wants it, and it sells out. Yep. Oh, shout out, Dan, coming through, choosing a spot. Yep, of course. To do everything. Hopefully, yeah. we'll do one of the drops today. Yeah, for sure. Well, hopefully, there'll be uh, uh, some color. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Thank you, Toe. Coming soon to you.